Okay. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you're oh, stumbling Chief Wiggum, there across yeah. this Chief Wiggum <laughs> from a uh, weird internet rabbit hole, this is Hashtag, hashtag just, just Saying. And while we're prostituting, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell like it owes you money. It will let you know when we upload new content. You can watch the first 40 on the YouTubes. Listen where streaming things stream and watch the exclusive pre show banter on TikTok. Now, for last week, because we did not record, I gave YouTube a special treat and I made a, a quick little compilation of some of the pre show banter videos that get, that get posted on TikTok. So you got a special treat. Yeah. I'm probably never going to do that again. So if you want to see any more of those, you have to jump your butt over to uh, TikTok, to TikTok and, and watch it. It's free. For now. And it's not banned. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. All right. We are live. I keep getting... You know, I went to... Um, last week, I had to go uh, to hospital oh. and have a, uh, a colonoscopy uh -huh. follow-up. And... Like what a I have, crappy day. I, well, you know, <laughs> I, I, I was going to say I have a story about it, but I might as well just tell you the story now. All right, go ahead. So they, they, what they do is they prescribe you. Uh, my my gastro guy likes to get, the prescribe, you, prescribe me like this big jug, right? It's a jug of powder. And you're supposed to add water. You can add like. Is it barium? No, it's um I don't know what the full name is, but the little acronym they use is PEG. Uh -huh. It's like a, a PEG drink. Oh, cool. And you can add like Kool-Aid or like Crystal Light, but it can't it, you can't use certain colors. Uh -huh. And it tastes horrible. Um it like cuz I did it did I you want to throw up? I yeah, I drank it on the last one that I had, uh, you know, last year. And I, I got one glass in, and then my body was just like, we're not doing any more of this. <laughs> and every time I tried to drink it, like, my throat would shut down. Like, nope, that's not happening today. So I was trying to figure out another way to do it. Now, you I was talking. the other direction. <laughs> yeah. So I was, talking, I was talking to Tina about it because she literally just had her, like, her, hers done. Hi, Tina. So I said, uh, sorry to put your business out there, Tina. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a routine thing. You know, yeah, gentlemen, you're 14, approaching yeah. the age. It's going to happen to you. <laughs> I hate to tell you. So this is good advice, really. Remember, she said it, not us. <laughs> so I said, what's a, like, a better way to do it? Because I can't drink that shit. And she goes, okay, here's what you do. You go and you get a thing, of, uh, like a, a, the mid-sized bottle of Miralax, right? Okay. And you mix it with Gatorade. Because Miralax doesn't, it's not supposed to have a taste. What kind of Gatorade? Any, any you like, but it has to, you can't use like reds or you're not supposed to use blues. I'm out. Because things can show up and then they'll mistake something for a problem uh -huh. if, they see, if they see something. So they didn't have any non flavored Marilax. So I ended up getting like a, like a lemon lime, like an orange flavor. And I was like, eh, I don't care. I like orange. Okay. And I got. Do you? You needed. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> so I said, how much Gatorade am I going to need? She said, oh, about like 64 ounces. Damn. That is like a jug of Gatorade. God damn, that's a lot of Gatorade. So damn. I said, so I said, okay. So I went down to the corner store and I got myself three 28s, right? And this then is I. 12 yeah. ounces. Yeah, I got the 328s. This is a uh, matter of fact, I think. Yeah. So this size drink is is the 28. And you got 46. I got three of these. Three right? of those. Three of these. Oh, yeah, 64. Never mind. And I was like, hopefully, I will not need any more. So hopefully I mixed them up. I was in the bathroom all night long. <laughs> well, I mixed them up. <laughs> and she gave me added information, and she said. Okay, here's what you do. You drink one in the morning and then one later in the evening. So I was like, okay. But you got three. So I did. 
<laughs> I did. Well, <laughs> I I was I was a victim of my own impatience. Oh. In this story, because what I did is I drank the first one fairly quickly, and I was like, nothing's happening. It should have happened by now. What? How, how quick is quick? I mean, I it was a couple hours, and nothing was happening, and I'm like, oh, it didn't work. Fuck. <laughs> and you know, it's like, have you ever? I mean, I don't do drugs. <laughs> But Why they, not anymore? But they say... <laughs> Why not? Like, but they say, like, like, oh, if you took, like, acid or something, like, don't take another acid after an hour because, like, stuff, like, it's going to kick in eventually. Yeah, I heard mushrooms are fun. I I wouldn't know. <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh, Shrooms. Psil- psilocybin? Shrooms. Mushrooms? I'm referring to you. Psychedelic. So, yeah. I'm referring to you, Barjo. Huh? I'm referring to your bar joke. Oh, yeah. My mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> Fun guy. So I was sitting there and I'm like, well, it's because I'd finished the one. Yeah. So I said, okay. I had a half regular size Gatorade, which is like, you know, about yay big. Yay. Yay. On, on my desk. So I mixed a little bit in with that and I drank that and still nothing was happening. So I said, I'm going to start the second bottle early right and this is where i went wrong <laughs> yeah holy shit yes I, I i i was i started the second bottle and it was a mistake <laughs> <laughs> did you finish the second bottle i finished the second bottle because i said i because i'm not the, a quitter <laughs> well yeah well here's the thing like if you're not if you're not properly prepared, they're not going to do the procedure. Right. So I didn't want to, and you have to fast as well. So I wasn't fasting, going through all of this prep shit for him not to be able to do what he needs to do. Okay. Right. So I said, I'm going all in because I need this to happen. Like, I'm not doing this shit again. Right. So got impatient, drank the second bottle, and oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um and then what did you do, Ray? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. But here's the thing. So seven o'clock comes and I decide I'm gonna drink a twenty ounce on top of that because I really wanted to make sure that this was gonna happen. So it's eighty four ounces. It you had yeah. plus, plus yeah. sounds like a I, recipe for disaster. It. It it was it was. Um, what night was this? This was. It started Wednesday. It's still going. It 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 was still going Friday. Oh my god! <laughs> like, I went into the hospital. It's a, it's a day surgery, so you go into like the day procedural area. Yeah. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and I'm like, I hope they hurry because I think I have to go again. <laughs> so finally, the nurse comes out to get me. And we go in the back, and she's asking me all the proper questions. Did you drink the jug? And I'm like, sure. Like, I lied because I didn't want her to, to know the truth. And then they ask you, like... They have a lie to your doctor. They ask you... Well, no, it was a nurse. I don't care. And she's literally, like, asking about, for lack of a better word, consistency. <laughs> How's the flow? Yeah. So I said, I don't think we have anything to worry about, Nancy. <laughs> I think we're going to be good today. And I looked at her and I said, and as a matter of fact, I have to go now. <laughs> and she's like, okay. So she takes me out back to the to bathroom and I go. And I come out and I was like, I hope this stops soon. <laughs> and she goes, how long have you been going? And I said, since Wednesday. <laughs> And she's like, oh my goodness! So I, I get clean right out. I get on the, uh, I get on the little, little gurney thing, and they have you put the goddamn Johnny on. No. And I looked at her and I said, you know, I don't think I would be so uh, infatuated with this whole thing if I could keep my pants on. <laughs> I said, can we figure out a way to do it where everybody gets to keep their pants on? And she's like, I don't think so. So she's looking at my veins, and I have shitty veins. And so I, I said, I, I do wish you luck. And she managed to get me on the first stick. And she goes, I got you. And I said, okay. 
And I said, um, she said, oh, and then she gives me her life story. I've been doing this for like 25 years, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've never seen anybody that I can't, I can't take care of. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I looked at her and I said, as a matter of fact, I said, were you here last year? And she goes, I was. <laughs> and I said, because there was a, a nurse who did my IV and it, the IV blew. So they had to come and redo it. And I said, and I'm 99% sure it was you who came over and redid it. And she goes, well, if somebody had to redo it, it was probably me. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And then she goes, um, you know, I, I, I always got to fix other people's shit. I'm like, okay, Nancy. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Slow down, Nancy. So they wheel me into the thing, and they're, they're getting ready to give me the, the good stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I wasn't too nervous about it because I'd done it before. And they they said something to me. And I said, can I ask you a question? And she said, sure. And I said, why is it always so goddamn cold in this room? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, well, we need it. And I said, for what? I said, wouldn't you want me to be more relaxed? Keep it as a nice, even temperature? I said, I'm just cold. <laughs> she goes, well, in five minutes, you're not going to know anything. <laughs> And I said, Come well, that's back good. back in 20, 20, No, I didn't even get 18. that. So she, the girl grabs my IV, and she's got the thing to put the stuff in. Right. And I look at her, and I was like, you got to, because I am, I'm horrified, because I do know somebody who had a colonoscopy and woke up in the middle of it. Ooh. And I looked at her, and I said, listen, whatever it is you do, I don't want to wake up. And she <laughs> was, and she kind of looked at me, and I said, I mean, during, I, you know, I want to wake up, yeah. maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and she's like, okay. Yeah, a nice nap. I said, don't, don't, don't do me wrong. I was like, you gotta, you gotta. You done me wrong. I, you don't do me wrong. I said, I need to sleep through this whole thing. And she goes, I got you. And she put the, the, the she put the stuff in and then somebody said something and I made a joke I don't remember. <laughs> and then I was out. I woke up. Wrecked them, damn near the, killed them. I woke up in the thing, <laughs> and the girl was like, <laughs> I'm such an idiot, and I realized this about myself, and I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but like, the more like nervous I am, the more polite I am. And I, I don't know why I do that. Sarah's so nice. She must yeah. be really fucking yeah. nervous. Yeah, <laughs> she's really nervous. She's so polite. So the nurse comes back over, and she goes... You got to have something. She goes, so do you want like juice? And I was like, what kind of juice? <laughs> and she goes, apple. She goes, uh, I think she said apple. And then she's like, cranberry. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, I was hoping you'd say orange. And she's, we don't have any orange juice. She goes, but I can get you like ginger ale. And I looked at her with the most serious face. And I said, ginger ale would be lovely. <laughs> And she said, I got to give you... Schweppes Canada Dry. Oh, it was Canada Dry. They don't fuck around. Nice. They were giving me top shelf. <laughs> top shelf. Top tier. Top shelf. <laughs> so then she goes, I got to give you something to nibble on. Nibble. And I said, okay, like pizza? And she goes, no. She goes, you want like a, a cracker Some or salt. like a graham cracker? And Saltines. I was like... So I said, I'll take the graham cracker. I haven't had one of those in years. I said, matter of fact, I think I had one the last time I was here for a colonoscopy. I was like, I think that was the last time I had a damn graham cracker. I'll take a graham cracker. Nice. So I ate it. Ginger ale. And ginger ale. So I ate it. I had two left because she brought over like three. And I looked at her and I was like, I can't finish these. (laughs) Can I bring it home? (laughs) And she goes, yeah, sure. In my pocket. Boom. Nice. So I had all that last week. Yeah, I had all that last week, and you know the hospital is still sending me noted like things like, "Would you like to take a survey on how your care was?" <laughs> how like, did we do? Like, no, I had to take my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crappy day. The care was horrible. It was a I had to day. de-pant. <laughs> and those damn Johnnies! I hate the Johnnies so bad. So bad. Damn. They don't do anything. I still don't know why they haven't redesigned them. Thank you. So you can put them on like a robe and tie it in the front. Or a Velcro <laughs> or something. No. And matter of fact, I've been in situations where I I've tie had to... first and put it on like a shirt. I've, I've been in situations <laughs> where you have to wear it backwards, where they needed the 
front open. And that's that's it's worse when it's that way. Yeah. It's good like a, <laughs> a flasher. Surprise. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, so that was, um... That was your week. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. But, I will say, uh, it went well enough where I don't have to go for another couple of years. Couple. So I'm like, okay. Okay, man. Well, yeah. I was happy. Be here before you know it. Unfortunately, probably. Yes. But I'll take it. Sweet. So Excuse how me. how was your week... I know how his week was. <laughs> uh, you want to go first? You can go first, Sean. Wow. I was giving you an out. <laughs> he threw you right in, right in with the lions. <laughs> Not, nothing uh, too exciting. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> nothing really new. Just <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty much my day to day. Yeah. All right. Um, Last week we had the wake. Yeah. The day before the last show that we had, my mother passed away. Mm. Didn't feel like mentioning it on the last show because it was too soon. Mm. But we weren't on the air last week because all three of us were at my mother's wake. And <laughs> I... this is very quiet and empty in the house now. Really? I was still recovering. <laughs> 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 like... Jay looks at me and goes, are you going to the thing? And I said, yeah. He goes, oof. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well. I said, I'm, I. Uh, Be in and out. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'll plot out. I said, if I have to stop, you know, McDonald's and Dunks are always the, <laughs> the, the best places you can sneak in and sneak out. <clears throat> sure. <clears throat> Tip in. <laughs> Tiptoe in. Tiptoe in. Did you guys see the eclipse? I did. Yes. Yeah. I guess uh, we'll be coming back around for another 20 years. That's what they say. Jay had little, uh, like the little plastic glasses. Yeah. The little paper glasses. One of my coworkers had a pair. He came out. He came into my office. He was all excited. He goes, we can watch the eclipse. <laughs> I said, really? And he goes, yeah. I got, the, I got the glasses. He goes, we'll take turns, though. <laughs> And I said, so what do I turn around while you <laughs> Cause you're not supposed Close to your eyes. You're not supposed to stare at it. No. I guess one little kid did and he's like, Daddy, I'm blind. Stop knocking off, you're choking around. I can't see. I was like, damn. So after the eclipse, <laughs> Google had an influx of people searching for what's wrong with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because people were just Oh. oh pretty asses. Yeah. So he he dark over here. <laughs> he had it down to like the 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 two minutes by like two minutes. He's like, "Come outside now!" <laughs> like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and then like everything went dark. Yeah. And then it was light again. Yeah. Temperature yeah. dropped. I was disappointed mm -hmm. when uh, there was light again because <laughs> I didn't see any Audrey two plants anywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, body. Have you seen the movie Little Shop of Horrors with Rick Moranis? There's an, a total eclipse, and then when it comes back, there's Audrey sitting there. Little cute little plant. Feed me, Simon. And as a special bonus, bonus. right? Yes. So Bonnie Tyler's total eclipse of the heart <laughs> skyrocketed to number one last week. Turn around. <laughs> That's all I can say. I can't say anymore. I'll get, I know. I'll get I'm getting sued. busted on copyright. <laughs> so the um, I had posted a little compilation of the TikTok videos. Now TikTok has, uh, mu as long as it's not music, as, as far as they're concerned, they're fine. Okay. So I post, I insert a lot of clips. Right. So we got a copyright thing on the video. Of course we did. Because uh, I had all these clips, and one clip I actually had to. Um, there was like a, there, this thing came up and it's like, okay, well, this is copywritten. Your video can't be public if this clip is in here. And then it's like, click this button to remove the clip. So I'm like, you, you, you got me by the, <laughs> by the thumbs here. So I clicked the button and the clip got taken out. 
and it uploaded and but it still had copywritten material in it. So Damn. I got a thing like you can't monetize this video because it has copyright and stuff. And I'm like, what was the clip? Uh, you know what it was? It was uh something about Groundhog Day, the oh, Ned Ryerson yeah. thing. Ned Ryerson? That's on there. I watched it. It is on there, but because it's a copyrighted, ridded, whatever. <laughs> copywritten. A copyrighted thing. Uh, we we can't. When YouTube eventually lets us get money, Bing. we can't make any money off of that video <laughs> because it's it's copyrighted. Let us do shit. I keep I keep trying. I mean, we, we I think we need like three thousand more hours. I mean, we can just get that right up. <laughs> Let's go. And now we're only a third there. I know. Let's see what I'll say. I don't know how other channels do it. Jesus Christ. They do they've been doing it. Yeah. WrestleMania forty. Oh has boy. Come oh and boy. gone. <laughs> like was, the Easter bunny. Just like the Easter bunny. <laughs> and you can watch every single match on YouTube for free. Really? Pretty much. Oh. All the highlights and shit. Oh, okay. And I I just want to see like the final match because yeah, that's the main event. We're going to watch it on Peacock. And so, it did not disappoint. Oh, yes, really? Had, so you en- you enjoyed it? I did. Wow. <laughs> Want me to tell you about it? Spoiler, if you like. I don't mean, spoiler alerts. It's been a while. So it's been a while. It's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes for the title. The undisputed title. Right? Okay. Which is, I believe, SmackDown or whatever the fuck it is. And of course, you know, they have to have like... The buddies help him out, you know. Mm. It's always two on one, and then like Cody had a, uh, he was getting his yeah two, two. Anyways, <laughs> Cody was getting his ass beat, and John Cena comes out, takes mm. out the the third guy that was helping you know Roman, and then The Rock comes out, takes out John Cena, mm-hmm. good, and then The Undertaker <laughs> comes out and takes out The Rock with a choke slam. And now it's back to one on one, and then you know he did the finisher move things, and then the one two three new champ. Oh, everyone's like, yes, Yay. finally! Hmm. He was champ for like almost fourteen hundred days, freaking Roman. Wow! So I he... always hate it when they do that. Yeah, hmm. they did it with Triple H. He was oh, champion God. back in '99 or something. He had for the like belt five for years. Yeah, it's too long. It was like a year, year and a half with the McMahon Helmsley regime. Yeah. Mm. Good. It was a good show. Like JBL that. had it for a long time in like 2007 or six or five, somewhere around there. Now, so he's the new face of the the company. This was a this was a pay per view. It was. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> if you get Peacock, you can just watch it. But it was two days. It was Saturday yeah. and Sunday. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So all uh, the titles changed. I don't know how it works out though. I don't know. Great. If you got Peacock, you can kind of watch it for free in a way. You're not paying mm-hmm. eighty dollars for the pay per view, or whatever mm-hmm. the hell they charge now. I hate to find out. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, back when all of us were watching it at my parents' house in Quincy, yeah. it was like forty dollars for the pay per view, mm-hmm. thirty dollars and forty dollars. Crazy. See what else I got. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Bon Jovi. Oh God. Released a brand new song. Uh. Called, it's called Legendary. It's actually pretty good. Uh. I liked it. I mean, I know you don't like Bon Jovi, but I don't. But I mean, it's a good song. <laughs> I don't. And it. You might like it. I and it know. bothers me because I know he's a good person. <laughs> like he does a lot of he does a lot of charity stuff that he doesn't. Publish. Yeah. It's like a soup kitchen for homeless people, like all that shit. And it's like, oh God, I hate you, but I like you. <laughs> I like to hate you. I hate you, and I like you at the same time. <laughs> Do you know how conflicting that is? It is <laughs> awful. Uh, I sent you guys a trailer for the Joker two movie. Which, I, what did you think of it? I well, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to watch it. Oh, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I, I I've heard a lot about it though. I've heard it's it's kind of a musical thing, which I guess makes sense oh, since it Gaga's the. It looks pretty good. Lady since, Gaga. Since like Gaga's music. Harley she, Quinn now. She is. Ew. Yeah. Wrap your head around that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna. So. Uh, no. Did you see the first one? 
the first no. Joker? No. That yeah. was pretty good. I didn't, uh, D- different. I didn't watch it. It's funny to watch him dancing down the stairs, though. <laughs> <laughs> he murders freaking... Uh, he was in Casino and I... De Niro? De Niro, yeah. He wrote his De Niro. Okay. Spoiler alert. He wrote his De Niro. So anyway. I don't know. I've seen that... I've, yeah, this is going to sound funny. I've mm. seen that scene of him coming down the steps. No. Yeah. Dancing. Yeah. I've seen it done with like different pieces of music. Mm-hmm. But the ones I saw, are, like it had Shawn Michaels' is a Sexy Boy theme. <laughs> <laughs> it had some other wrestlers' theme. And it was <laughs> fucking mm-hmm. hilarious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well... <laughs> so funny he's just dancing like, you got the Joker coming down in the steps and all mm-hmm. you hear is I'm a sexy boy <laughs> sexy boy <laughs> I'm not your boy toy no oh, jeez <laughs> that's, that's an all we can say yeah <laughs> and a copyright here too yes I think this whole copyright thing is a piece of shit oh I mean like so all over the years you can have all these videos and people still have music up on it's other, annoying. All the videos, and that's okay. It's annoying. But people like us, we get scolded. Scolded. For like two seconds of nothing. Put me on the naughty step. Mm. <laughs> so, yes. I had a new sink installed this week. I saw. Last it. week? This week. He saw. No, it was Monday. It. it was Monday. <laughs> okay. I went right past. 45 it. minutes? No. <laughs> no. You timed him? It was about two and a half to three hours. Damn. But to be fair, it wasn't just dropping in a new sink. He had to... uh... (laughs) It's so funny because he he started working and then in in a few minutes I heard... (laughs) (laughs) So I come out, I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? And he goes, you shut off Alps. I said, again? Because when he he worked in in the far bathroom, yeah. He had to replace the shutoff valves. So now he's like, you shutoff valves? And I said again. And I was like, can I get some shutoff valves that work in this house? <laughs> no. And he goes, well, you know, the problem is, is that when you don't use them, and then they, they leave, they'll they start to leak eventually. He goes, right. so. They rush they're, and run. Yeah. They're, they're they corrode. Rust. Yeah. He goes, so I'm going to replace them. And I said, okay. There was something else he... So once a month, you're going to shut them off just to make sure? I don't know. Maybe I should start doing that. Just randomly shut my water off. Let the chips Some fall where they may. Like, the sink's broken, not working. I shut the valve off. So there was that. Yeah. And then uh, he got... He put the sink in, and then I heard him again. So I came out, and he goes... Uh, because I had by told himself? him... Yeah, he was by himself. Okay. The so, sink heavy, so... Well, he he managed. Okay. He's 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 good. He man. <laughs> so, what like uh, when I when I got the the sink, I had measured the old sink right. because I just wanted to like to drop. drop the new one in. I didn't want to have to like saw out or, or yeah. whatever. So I told him that I was like, it should be the same size. You shouldn't have any problem. So I heard him yelling for me. So I came out and I'm like, what's up? And he goes, you were right. <laughs> and I said, in what capacity? He goes, fits. <laughs> I said, well, thank goodness for that. All right. But however, the, I don't know what you would call that, the the pan, like the, <clears throat> the, the sink itself. Apparently, it's deeper than the other sink. Okay. So there was something he had to cut Ooh. underneath. He goes, I got to cut a, a little piece or whatever. I'm like, mm, do it. Yeah. <laughs> do what do you got to do. Yeah. So he gets, it, he gets it done, and then he yells to, for me that he's all set. So I come out and I'm looking at it and I'm like, that looks awesome. And he goes, yeah, it does. He goes, I like it. <laughs> oh, he loved, he loved it. He yeah. was like, this is awesome. So he turns on. Now, here, I want to make a point. How does the, the lights work? They plug in? Are they like battery? No, it's, it's, uh, from, it's, it's like a turbine. Like the water flowing through turns a thing and then it turns the, it makes the thing light up. Oh. So he, Turns the Hydro water. generator. <laughs> yeah. So he turns the water on and he goes <clears throat> forward is hot, backward is cold, and the light will on the sink will glow accordingly. Right. When it's warm, it'll be green. When it's hot, it's red. Got when it. it's too hot, it'll flash. So I said, okay, that's cool. Warning, so now, warning. Now we had this conversation. I'm marking with you that I had this conversation with him. Okay. And then he finished up, wrapped up, left. 
Got it. Short time later, I went out into the because I had to give it two hours. He goes, give it two hours to I don't know cure or whatever. Right. So settle. Yeah. So Big two hours, and then I went back and I put everything back under the sink, and I you know got everything going. Right. And then I went to turn the sink on, so I'm trying to turn it on. It's not turning on. Shock valves. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm 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 trying because I really didn't want to call him, but I'm like, maybe he shut the main line off. But I saw him turn the sink on. So what's what's the problem? So I give up and I call him. <laughs> and I said, Tim. He goes, yeah. <laughs> we have such a rapport. He goes, yeah. And I said, Tim, did you shut the water off? And he's a little bit confused. And he said, why? What, why were you asking that? And I said, well, I'm trying to turn the sink on. I can't get the sink to turn on. And he goes, oh. He said, are you moving it? Back and forth, like trying to turn it on. Did you reboot said, it? And I said, yeah. And he goes, well, you know, when we were talking in the kitchen, I showed you that you have to take that lever and pull it to the right before you go forward or backward with it. Oh. He goes, so pull it toward the stove and then adjust the temperature forward or backward. So I did it while I was on the phone with him. And I was like, I am so stupid, and I'm so sorry. And he goes, it's okay. And I said, no, no, Tim, it's not okay. I said, I'm an idiot, and I apologize for my ignorance. And he goes, it happens. And then I said, um, I said, well, you know, I'm sorry I had to call you. I said, but I'm glad that it actually works. And he goes, yep. And then he kind of like reiterates again, I did show you. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what, Tim? I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. I wasn't paying attention. You, the I water, you, but I wasn't listening. The water was running. The pretty light was on. That's what I was focused on. Uh-huh. And I was like, I, you know, I figured I know how to work a sink. I don't, I don't need instruction. No, I do. I do need instruction. I don't know how to work a sink. Nope. So... That was kind of, I was a little bit irritated about that, but I was happy I, you know, it was an easy thing. So everything's all copacetic? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. So what's the next project? I, th- I think I'm, I think I'm clear. Okay. No, uh, no more water I don't projects. have any, I don't have any. All the bathrooms are done, sinks done. Yeah, I don't have any more inside house stuff. Like I was talking to somebody today and they were like, oh, what are you doing over the weekend? And I said, well, it depends on the weather. Because now it's we're getting into spring. I got to start to do spring cleanup outside. That's right. Because it's always fucking something, right? Yeah. Poop patrol. Yeah. Well, I would have, I would have cleaned up after Daisy during the week, but we had more rain. Every time I thought of it, it was raining. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's not going to help me at all. Nope. Ugh. Damn it. Go. So, I want to address a question to you, sir. Ooh. Because the elephant in the room. No, 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 no elephants. No elephants. <laughs> no elephants. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Because I watched Quiet, Quiet on Set. I did too. And I know that you had watched it as well. Yeah, all five episodes. Yeah, because they just released another a final episode. Right. What did you think of it? The final episode. Well, the whole series. I thought the whole series was uh, shocking. Yes, it was. I had no idea um, what was going on at Nickelodeon. Yeah. Uh, Quiet on the Set is about um, these horrible things that were happening uh, on these Nickelodeon shows. Dan Schneider. With Dan Schneider. And he released an apology video, which I watched. And which like, was bullshit. I know. That apology video was minutes of bullshit. Like, if I could go back, I'd change it. No. Would you? <laughs> I don't think he would. I would do things differently. This guy just, I mean, like, I want to give people. He's like 68. This man. Yeah. While he was on set directing, he would force women to come over and give him massages while he was working. And God forbid anybody say no, because he would throw a temper tantrum and have them fired. Yeah. And he was allowed to operate this way. For years. There were two... two decades. There were two women in the writer's room for... um, I don't remember the show. All that? No, it wasn't all that. It was for it was the Amanda Bynes show, whatever okay. her show was. And he f- he made them share a salary, which he says he had nothing to do with, and then kind of walked it back and was like, "Well, when you first get a gig, people do that. Like that's a normal thing." 
Meanwhile, the Writers Guild is going, uh-uh, <laughs> that's not normal. <laughs> and when they complained, they got fired. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. And there was a lot of like, I mean, I didn't, I didn't watch any of these shows because I was too old. <laughs> yeah, I knew of them. But I mean, they were showing some clips and I curling. I, it was uncomfortable because I mean, I didn't see them when I was a kid. I'm watching them as an adult, and I'm going, "How did that make it on air?" Because that is really suggestive. Yeah. In the beginning of it, they had Mark. Mark Summers came out. Yeah. Now I did. I I love Mark Summers for Double Dare. Yes. Right. On your mark. Gets yeah, it. I loved I love Double Dare. And as a matter of fact, when I saw him, I like froze and I was like, I don't want to hear any shit about Double Dare. Mm -hmm. Double Dare is clean. Nothing ever happened. Nope. Well, it's not that clean. It's very messy. Well, I mean, controversy wise. <laughs> he got slimed. And they showed him a clip of something from one of the shows, and he was like, That went on air? And they were like, You hear somebody off camera go, Yeah, that was on Nickelodeon. They had that. And he was like, that's disgusting. And I was like, oh, Mark! <laughs> Does he still work for Nickelodeon, Mark? I don't think so. I don't think he has a gig with them anymore. Yeah. He used to do, uh, he had a little f show on like the Food Channel or yeah. the Travel Channel or something called Unwrapped. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was good. They, like, he'd just show you how they make little candy. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's fun. A little fun thing. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it was it was it was bad. I was like, oh my goodness. Well, back, and then back then, you, they can get away with a lot on TV. But they wouldn't get any clo anywhere close well, to now. And then the thing is, he was trying to justify it, and he's like, well, this was made for kids. It's what kids would think was funny. And I'm just sitting there going, I don't think so though. And mm -hmm. I think it would fly just over a kid's head. Like I don't think they would think. That it was funny. I mean, if there was somebody else, like an adult in the room, like, like they were saying on the, um, on that final episode, the like the the wrap up. Right. One of the, one of the old one of the actors was saying like, oh, like if you like if we saw that, like we were laughing because the adults were laughing. But we didn't think it was funny. Yeah. We didn't want to lose our job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they did. <laughs> um. It was. It's a crazy documentary yeah i i i would like them to do more but in a way i'm like oh maybe we should just <laughs> walk away that's on hbo max it is on max it's very it's good also on hbo max is the documentary for the um the subway guy jared fogel yeah i watched that too and how was that <sighs> dare i ask worse than the one freaking oh boy yeah, yeah cuz he yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my, my axe to grind He's with that. He's in prison now, of course. He is in prison. But my axe to grind with that is that Subway never really, uh, like, they never really made any kind of statement. Like, they kind of, oops. <laughs> like, Nickelodeon did that, too. They were like, we were unaware. And it's like, I don't think you were. We take precautions, do you? Yeah, I don't think they, they did. But... Yeah, he got away with it for years. He did. Yeah. Now he's in prison. Well. No, no subway for you. No, you ain't getting subway in the slammer. <laughs> <laughs> he gets out in like five years. Well, good good luck working again. Because like he was convicted of like having having pornography. Mm. But like there was no evidence that he actually did anything. They couldn't like convict him for that. But like they convicted him for a lot of the other stuff. So it was more a possession. Right. But, I mean, he did. Still gross. He did do the, the deed. I'm know? sure he did. You know? He, there's tapes of him saying, like, oh, yeah, I was in Thailand, and I just, you know, I, I, uh. I, I, I pounded this kid. I'm like, what? Oh! And the lady's like, oh, okay. She's like, like you know, like, trying to, like, but, like, she's, re if you watch it, like, she she recorded him for, like, for like three years. All, uh. her, all her phone conversations, she recorded it and sent it to the FBI. And they didn't do anything for a while, and she's like, "What's what's going on here? You know, I got I gave you, you know, tangible evidence, and it's like there's no like, there's no physical evidence that he actually did it. You know, he's just just like him saying yeah. it, you know. But they finally caught him because it's all too shocking. That's right. <laughs> That's on HBO Max as well. 
No. I don't believe it. No, I know. <laughs> There's a lot of like, you know, what really good documentaries, like just all of a sudden just popping up. You know? I like a good the same, and they're all in the same like, like you know, genre. I like a good documentary. Yes. Not gonna lie. I yes. Oh, so I do I. I. No, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It's crazy. I'm trying to uh I'm trying to Pick save choose. some stuff. I got uh my my new uh badge for uh, my Subi. Nice. I was so excited that came yesterday and it was raining, <laughs> so I couldn't put them on. <laughs> And then today we got. The only a day it didn't rain was Monday with the, for the eclipse. And then this <laughs> afternoon we got a little bit of a break, where it was it wasn't really like raining, so I went outside and I wiped it down and I'm like, "You going on today?" <laughs> Stuck them on. They look nice. I like it. Check it's, them out. Um, Check them out later. Well, because the 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 That's Subaru the badge is blue, yeah, and then the little stars are like silver, yeah. So now my badge is black. With the stars are orange. Oh, it matches the car. Nice. <laughs> the front and back, or just the front, back, steering wheel. What? Yeah. The trifecta. The steering wheel too. <laughs> nice. That's right. Everywhere there's a logo. Yeah. Well, I only got three, but huh? took care of all. Took care of it all. I mean, Santa caps got logos too. Huh? Do you do the ones on the wheels too? The Santa caps. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just gave me an idea. Oh. I'll have to make sure. I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy new things if it's yeah. not really there. Subi. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> yeah. We got, some, we got time. I'm almost done with Three with minutes? the customization. I want to do right. some some cross. I wanted to do a, a like a rally bar with a couple of lights, and I can't mm. find anybody to install it. Uh, I'm like, mm. sorry. Mm. Yeah. My nephew was supposed to help me, but he's very forgetful. So. <laughs> well. Hmm? Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Doesn't he like? Oh yeah, he's he's the pot guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's the he's marijuana the... affects the memory. <laughs> he's the pot vapor. Maybe that's why. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> so what? Uh, did you want to close something? I have a, I have a, I have a you... quick joke, and then we can uh, okay wrap up. So I finally figured out the difference between a hippo and a zippo. <laughs> yeah. Hip, hippo is a heavy animal, and a zippo is a little lighter. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to guess the punchline. I totally would have ruined it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Because that's, uh, that's where I was going with that. Yes. So not last week, because we, we, didn't, we didn't have a technical record. show. Technical. <laughs> The week prior, did we have a winner? Because we did I not. don't even. Oh, what? <laughs> I know. What? What? And the movie was Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> I don't know if that deserves that. But I don't Nobody care. guessed it. Wow. So this week it's worth so this two week's... gift cards. That was an easy oh, one, too. I know. That was one of his famous lines. All right. Ready? I'm so ready to win the me. gift card, you comment the name of the movie on the YouTube video. If you're first and correct, you win. Pretty easy. All right. Yo, who broke the toilet? Stop playing me, man. Who broke the toilet? Know it. Every time I invite you guys over, you, you dog me. Get to stepping. <laughs> Comment below. Get to stepping? Get to awesome. stepping. You know what is that? Oh, You'll my goodness. That. Sean knows. Sean knows. Yeah. Okay, thank <laughs> you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Before I send it down the table, here's your fun fact of the week. The Ron Howard movie, Gung Ho, is used by Toyota as an example of how not to manage Americans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. Keaton. Have a great weekend. Keaton. Have a good everything. <laughs> <laughs>